everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your very own personalized image templates using Nextweave. Let's get started. Now the image editor can be accessed either if you decide to clone that is copy or edit an existing template or if you create a new template from scratch. That's what we're going to be covering in this video. So from any of the template libraries, either the public library or your private library, click on create new template. Now the first step to creating your own personalized image template is to set up the background or the base image on top of which different layers or components will be added. Now this can be achieved in four ways. The first is if you select a background image to upload from within your files. The next option is if you want to set a solid color as the background for your image template. In this case, you can define a canvas size either by selecting the available ratios or manually entering the dimensions and then just select a background color and click on set up canvas for image personalization. So an image with this solid color and the dimensions that you define will automatically get added to your media gallery and you can click on OK to confirm this. The third option is for you to select any of these available images from your gallery. Now, gallery contains all the images or GIFs that have been recently uploaded to Nextweave. And finally, you can set your background image by searching for an appropriate image from our stock library. So you can just type in keywords and select the image of your choice. For this example, I'm going to go with one of my previously uploaded images from the media gallery. Please note that if you set up a GIF as a background for your template instead of an image, this would qualify as a GIF template. The process for personalizing an image and a GIF template are otherwise exactly the same. The image editor can be divided into two parts. The first is the image canvas where you can see the final output of your creation. So all the layers you add will be visible here on top of the background image. On the right hand side you have the component and properties panel so you can click on any component to add it to your template and its corresponding properties will also be edited from here. Now before we start adding components to this image, let's define the personalization variables that we're going to use in this template. So navigate to the endlist variable tab, which is the second tab under the image editor. By default, the username variable will already be added. You can click on add variable to add any additional variables to use inside your image template. Now please note that the variables that you create here are only going to be available to use inside this particular template. For any other template, you'll have to create a new set of variables. Secondly, you can add and manage variables from this endless variables tab at any stage during the template design process. In this video, we're only going to be adding personalized text to our base image, but you can learn about all the other available components from our additional resources. When you want to add a component to your image, just click on the relevant tile. So if you click on the text tile, a text box is added to your image. You can drag it on the image canvas directly and drag its edges in and out to adjust the size. For any selected component on your image, its properties will open to the right. Now, all the basic components in an image template or a GIF template have these basic properties, the content tools or source tools and design tools. So if you want to adjust the content that is displayed inside this text box, we can do so under content tools. Simply type in your desired content in this input field. Now if you want to add personalization, click on the select variable drop down or rather hover over the select variable drop down and just copy your desired variable, paste it into the text box. Its fallback value will be visible on the canvas while you can see the actual variable use under content tools. Under content tools, you can also adjust other font features such as the family, the font size, alignment, as well as the font color. Next, let's move on to design tools. Under design tools, you can adjust the width and the height of your text box, which can also be done by directly dragging the edges inside the canvas. And you can also adjust the 3D warp, 
which allows you to add three-dimensional perspective to components that are added to your image or GIF. So this 3D warp comes in handy if you're trying to give this a sort of perspective or three-dimensional look. Do remember to always click on save template and ensure that your work gets saved. Now before we can close the editor out, go to the define meta tab which is the third tab within your editor. Here you can adjust your template details such as the template name and assign it a category and you can also personalize the social preview. You can assign a title and a description to this. To learn more about setting up a social preview for an image or a GIF template, have a look at our additional resources such as our knowledge base. Lastly, from this page, you can generate a preview link which is going to give you an idea of what your audience will see when you share this image with them. All of your created templates will be available inside your personal template library. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you followed along, then congratulations, you've created your own personalized image template using NextWeave. Go ahead and get creative with the NextWeave editor and share your experiences with us. Here are some additional resources designed to help you get the most out of NextWeave. The first, our YouTube channel which contains additional video tutorials just like the one you watched. Here is a link to our knowledge base which contains written articles and guides for everything related to NextWeave. And finally, our Facebook group which will give you access to a community of NextWeave users from across the world with whom you can exchange questions and ideas on how to use NextWeave to the best of its abilities. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.